Makeup Minions, I'm Kim Witty from Witty Artistry and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button below to become part of the Witty Artistry family. In honor of the new Justice League movie, I just had to become the Flash. So let's get this makeup tutorial going. If you guys like my art and the videos that I create on here and you would like to keep seeing more of them, I would really appreciate if you took the time and head over to my Patreon page and invest in Witty Artistry. Just like every makeup I do, I start off priming my skin with a primer and lotion, and I will be mapping out the entire makeup using an eyebrow pencil. I like to use eyebrow pencils because they're easy to wipe off and they're pretty cheap, but basically you just draw the outline of the entire makeup look. Make sure you're using some reference images because the flash looks different in every single film and show and comic book he's in. Obviously, I'm following the ones from the Justice League movie. Just drawn all of his segments on his neck, his shoulder pads, the weird little lightning bolt thing in the center, and the edge of his mask that'll frame my face. Just using a red body paint, I'm going to be filling in all of those shapes that I've mapped out that are not intended to be white or black or another color. Uh, I'm using a fat brush to cover as much area as possible because I didn't want to waste time. Using a MAC Fix Plus primer, I'm just sealing the red paint down so it doesn't smear in other places. Then using a black body paint, I'm going to be filling in all of the pieces in between the red pieces because it seems like Flash's uh, suit is sort of like armored red scaled sections and then in between it is some sort of movable polyester protective material. And now I'm just doing his awesome little lightning bolt on his chest using a yellow body paint. I am outlining the little circle with black paint and then filling in all of the negative space very carefully with a detail brush. And don't forget your flash selfies. Time to add some texture to this. The costume seems to have little dimples of a lighter color, so I'm just mixing a lighter red and going over all the red sections, and then mixing up a gray and going over all of the black sections, just to sort of imitate that pattern. So what did you guys think about the movie? Have you seen it yet? I have not because I am in the middle of a move and my life revolves around these boxes. <laughs> but I'm using the black to outline all of the red segments of the armor and just creating the separation of the plates. Basically the design of the suit makes it seem as though he'd be able to fully move his neck unlike the poor person who had to play Batman in all of the older films. He couldn't turn his head, which is kind of funny. But I'm mixing together a white and a red to create a highlight that I'll be going on all of the red sections of the armor. This is just to create a more plasticky, metallic highlight because these surfaces are super smooth. Basically, you just use a detail brush and go over all the high points of the armor, which is where um, the light would hit and reflect. So this is the top sections of all the segments on the neck and the shoulders and the arms and the chest. Um, usually when adding highlights, I add a little bit at a time and I'll keep adding more layers. But you always want to blend it out with like a wet brush and um, just kind of to make it look more smooth and realistic. With your handy dandy Elmer's washable, washable being the key term here, glue stick, I am covering my eyebrows and brushing the hairs upward and outwards and sticking them down with my finger. This will just create a smooth surface for painting later. Blending out the edges of those gray highlights on my shoulders and then adding a little bit more highlights on my neck and I decided to fill in the mask with red because it was time. This is my favorite part when you get to start making some dimension for like the facial mask. I am using the same mixture of white and red and I'm just creating a ridges basically. Just follow the reference image of the dude's face and kind of imitate it. It has angular portions of the forehead, the bridge of the nose, and it has like super intense cheekbones. So I'm just doing that and then adding a black line underneath the mask, which I'll later blend out a little bit so it has more of a shadow. But underneath the red mask, he sort of has like this black meshy thing. I'm not entirely sure what it is because I couldn't get a really good picture of it. But I'm using the black around my eye sockets just to blend upward and outward to create the shadow and the really dramatic brow bone that this mask has. Since I didn't have a prosthetic, I thought it'd be kind of a creative solution to make my ears his little like lightning bolt wings. So I painted them yellow and now I'm going back in with a more stark 
highlight on all of the red. So just use more white in the mixture, add some extra highlights, and now I'm creating the little sections that his armor has. Um, look black, and I divided it, added some more highlights anywhere that I thought was necessary, following the reference image as closely as possible. Um, I did this makeup before the film came out, so it's a little late to the editing table, but I, I'm, I'm trying, guys. Okay, so now with a gray, I am outlining the edge of the lightning bolt and filling in the section that, I don't know, is that like the superhero patch? Like every superhero has like a, a superhero patch on its chest. That doesn't really have any purpose other than like, oh, this is my emblem. But anyway, I'm filling that in and I'm creating the dimension from the lightning bolt by using um, a gray yellow to create all the shading, which I'm outlining the edges of the lightning bolt and then creating the sloped edges of the lightning bolt because it is like a three dimensional thing. And then using white up on the ridges to really make it pop. And then to make my ears actually look like those little wing things, I'm filling in the negative space with black. And don't mind me, I, I just, I had to. <laughs> Blending out the black around my eyes and also on my chin. This is always my favorite part of makeups, is using my Mehron Clown White Cream Paint over body paint. Cream paint applies really well over body paint, and you can apply it in like a glob or like tap it out. But then with your finger or a brush, you can just tap it and it slowly blends into the paint. And the more you blend, the more natural or more um, organic something looks. But the more stark the highlight, the more metallic, the more plasticky something looks. So for most of the makeup, um, for the flash, since it is, you know, armor, it is not blended out very far. But I think it works. Using my BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the gray eyeshadow just to create an ever so subtle little shadow underneath the edge of the mask and under my eye sockets to show that the mask is sitting on top of my face. Thanks so much for watching guys, I really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and let me know what you thought in the comments below. I had way too much fun in this makeup afterwards because I made pierogies in my kitchen and ran around like an idiot. But I will see you guys next Saturday.